An anti-knife crime campaigner is installing these knife bins in Sheffield to try to get blades off the street. Anthony Olasende used to carry knives himself and he says there needs to be knife bins across the city. So he's calling on the police and the council to support him in his efforts. Mark Ansell's report was filmed before lockdown. Just some of the faces of the men who have been stabbed to death in Sheffield over the last three years. One of the most recent victims is Cameron Khan, who died from a stab wound to the chest in November. Anthony Olasande carried blades when he was younger, but is now determined to keep knives off the streets. I've come to check the knife bin, and this is what we've had disposed of. So people that say it doesn't work and you want to come with your negativity, there's proof in the pudding. He's installed a knife bin in Burn Grieve and it's made use of. On average, two knives are left there every month. It's not just a bin, it's an option. If you don't give young people the chance to get rid of their weapons, they're not going to take that chance. I mean, I'm just trying to be the person that I needed in my life when I was younger and a little bit of guidance. To me, it's not about money, it's about helping people. Anthony's passion to rid the streets of knives has led him to make this social media video encouraging people to hand in their blades. He says there needs to be knife bins across the city. They are working and it's proven and I'm not asking for to work with the council or the police for money. I will fund the bins myself. All I want is the go ahead so if I do get them they're not going to get destroyed. Neither South Yorkshire Police nor Sheffield City Council say whether they would take away Anthony's knife bins. But in a statement, the council said they've spoken with Anthony about his ideas. And South Yorkshire Police say in their statement that they're committed to tackling knife crime and are interested in hearing more from Anthony about his knife bins initiative. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North, Sheffield.